some of the things that you want to take into consideration when you're looking at right hand fingering on the banjo. You want to look at how you have the finger picks put on your fingers. I keep mine close to my fingers. I bend them so that they're kind of like an extension of my own fingers. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have either one or two fingers anchored on the head of the banjo. I anchor two and you notice that I kind of bend one finger a little bit more than the other that way they can both touch the head of the banjo. And then the next thing is even where your arm is resting on this armrest will make a difference. If you bring your arm forward just a little bit so that you're resting closer to your elbow you're going to get a little bit of a bend here in your wrist that usually helps um, people um, it helps you keep from hitting your banjo head with your thumb pick. Another thing that you want to do is you want to look at the angle that your fingers are hitting the strings. You want it to be more perpendicular rather than parallel. If you're parallel you can't, you can't get a good pick of the string. You want to be this way and um, you want to make sure that you can kind of grab the strings. If you notice I can actually pull on the strings here with my finger picks and um, that's because I'm kind of getting up under the string so I'm really picking it and I'm not slapping at it. I keep my fingers in real close and then the picking is actually done with my fingers. They move rather than with my arm. It's not like I'm pulling my arm this way to get the picking. My thumb's going down. My finger picks are coming up. And you can see my fingers stay real close to the strings. I'm not anywhere near the head of the banjo. And, um, and then I've got my hand kind of in a claw shape here. Um, notice that I don't have big spaces between my fingers like this. And that I'm not coming real far out with my fingers like this as I'm picking. So I keep everything in real close. And then I'm keeping the palm of my hand facing the banjo.